皆さんこんにちは and welcome to Shogo's podcast. So today guys, I'd like to talk a little bit about the situation of COVID and also about how the borders for traveling to Japan is going on so far. I've been receiving such comments uh, and uh, messages through DMs so often recently again too, how Japan's doing, when the borders are going to be fully open, so on and so forth. So I'd like to uh, update you guys with some information that I have so far. Now, um, I've made a few videos talking about the borders of Japan opening or not opening and such. And I think the, the, the best video that I made probably about the topic is the one where I reacted to Gaijin Goomba video where he said that don't go to Japan yet and I explained in that video too but basically I personally believe that the borders of Japan will probably be opening on after 2023 and so far that's exactly what's happening exactly what's happening. So right now in the news in Japan, it's saying that, oh, the number of uh, COVID cases are the what the biggest in the, in the world right now. Japan has the most number of people with COVID and so on and so forth. And that's exactly what I said. Once Japan opened its borders, it's absolutely 100% going to be saying, oh, there's more cases, so we need to close it up. It's all because we opened the borders. It's all that fault, so we need to close it. They're going to be closing it. They're going to be opening it up again. They're going to be closing it. It's going to be going back and forth. That's what I said in the video, and that's exactly what's happening. So my, um, what, what I estimated, I guess, you know, foresaw in the future was correct basically so and it's really crazy by the way i don't want to i don't wish i said i don't personally believe in any conspiracy theories or anything but this is for a fact that right now the local governments like especially like bigger cities in tokyo as such there are the local governments are actually handing out money to people um who uh can, so that people um can do uh, free pcr tests free pcr tests on the streets and there are um, certain organizations that are receiving money. The more people they test, the more money they get from the local government. So people, and, and because they get more money, they, for example, the organizations who do the tests would say that if you come and take a PCR test, we will give you a Amazon, Amazon gift card, 500 yen or something like that. And then people will be like, really, we can do that? And they, they go every single day. And when people continue to go every single day, by some coincidence, sometimes the PCR test can say that it's active, you know, that it's positive, I should say. Yeah. And then they, that, that number will be included in the number of cases even though that person is completely healthy and then the media will be able to say that oh there's this this much amount of people who are um, who are what should i say active with covid and so on and so forth so it's really crazy a lot of people say of course there's different opinions on on about this in the first place but and many people say that the uh, the government wants to cover up all of the um you know, mistakes that they're making, or there, there might, there might be something that they want to hide by uh, letting the media talk about the COVID situation again, so much about it, and everything. Of course, there's different opinions. You know, a lot of people are seriously worried about the situation. Uh, you can probably understand from how I'm talking. I'm not that worried anymore. But anyways, yeah. So that's that's one of the reasons why the number of cases of COVID in Japan is growing so much at a rapid speed. The government are literally handing out money for more organizations to do the PCR tests. And because everyone can get gifts for it, and uh, because especially because more people today, if they say that they actually have COVID, they can, you know, be absent from work or school without even being sick, right? So that's the reason why everyone wants to go and do those free PCR tests and get an Amazon card. So... It's, it's, what should I say, the system is created so that there are more, you know, um, positive people with, with COVID. And yeah, the situation is really, as probably it's the same around the world, it's going getting out of control. You know, we, we're kind of forgetting what the original risk was of the disease in the first place. And it's kind of, what, causing so many other problems too in our society. And it's going crazy, isn't it? But anyways, as, in terms of being able to travel or not, um, again, we're saying there's the world's most biggest number of cases. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be opening up anymore anytime soon. Again, as I, as I said in my previous videos, 2000, at least 2023 or after is going to be that timing. But one 
thing that I can absolutely say that I personally feel a little bit of hope in because I really do want the borders of Japan to be opening up because I want to work in the tourism industry again. Yeah. The, even though the, the cases of COVID are the world's biggest right now, at least that's what they say, um, the, the Japanese government seems to be not going to be applying any uh, movement restrictions or any of those uh, emergency situation, emergency decorations where people have to stay indoors and everything. It seems we're not going to be doing those anymore. Mm -hmm. Even though the, the cases are the biggest, there are no restrictions anymore. So a lot of people who are actually worried are like, why are we not having any restrictions, so on and so forth. But taking a look at social media and such, about 90% of Japanese people are like, we're tired of this. It's, it's about time we end this. Look at around us, you know, other countries around us. They're all starting to adapt to the situation, live together with COVID, and Japan is like one of the very few countries around the world who are still fussing about it. Yeah, and about yeah, 80, 90 percent of the people are saying that we're tired of COVID. Let's just end this. Let's just quit this immediately. So a lot of people seem to um, feel actually happy that there uh, there is no restrictions anymore, and I think that's a good thing, even though the cases are or um, increasing, there are no restrictions. I guess gradually the society is finally starting to adapt to the sickness. It's impossible to eliminate a virus from this world. We're living together in nature, in this world, on this planet, and it's impossible to get rid of all sicknesses. We have to live with it at some point, right? So I, I really hope that that timing will be, is coming closer. That's, that's one hope that I saw in the movement of Japanese society right now. And also, I really, really hope that that will eventually lead to the opening of the borders, too. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really up to how the Japanese people in society will feel feels about this situation. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm pretty sure that 2023 would be the right timing because we're still talking about the number of cases. And again, just like one or two years ago, there's more and more events that are starting to be canceled because of the number of uh, cases and such. So we'll have to see. That's probably the most amount of information I can give you so far. I guess we're very, very slowly um, making progress. I guess that's the that's the only thing I can say. Um, a lot of people, um, because I might be one of the very few Japanese people that they can contact, a lot of people give me DMs um, asking me as if I know everything about the future and what's going to be happening to you know Japanese society and how the government is going to be moving, but I'm just one citizen in Japan. So this is the maximum amount of information I can provide to you. Yeah, so basically, we still have to wait, but there is a little bit of hope. So then everyone, as I always say, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers dreams come true. So I know there's a lot of people studying Japanese willing to come to Japan to travel, study or work, or even train our social culture and such. However, I am very afraid that Japan will not be able to make everyone's dreams come true in the future because we're facing a lot of social problems, we are losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So I really want to dedicate my life to try and make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture, and also help out the younger generations so they can have a better future. And to do this, the nearest goal I have right now is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023 on our main channel. So your likes and comments help to boost our videos to new viewers who have never seen our channel before. So it'd be great if you can help us out. All right. Thank you so much for listening, guys. And in terms of our business in the tourism industry, by this month, I think we're going to be gathering all the items we need to run the, the experience. So it is um, getting really closer and closer. Again, it's just the problem of when we'll actually be able to restart it because no one's able to come to Japan so far. But hopefully uh, we'll be able to begin the experience as soon as possible because there are some people giving us um, some messages telling us that they would love to meet us or um, learn yai from me and stuff like that. So I think we will be open for reservations, but I'm not um, expecting any, what should I say, that many reservations to be coming in. But anyways, if you have a chance to come to Kyoto, hopefully you'll have um, an environment where you get to meet me soon. So I hope you can look forward to it. Thank you so much, guys, for listening.